Central African Republic becomes the first African country to declare Bitcoin as legal tender and the second country worldwide to declare Bitcoin as legal tender. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Altcoin Trader YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, please do to be kept up to date with the latest cryptocurrency news and be a part of our monthly giveaway sponsored by Altcoin Trader. Let's talk a bit about the Central African Republic accepting Bitcoin as legal tender. We are going to give the Altcoin Trader blog a bit of a read. If you would like to find this for yourself, you can go to www.altcointrader.co.za. In the top menu, click news and then click on blog. It will be the first blog you see. Let's give it a read. The Central African Republic has become the first African nation to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. The landlocked country situated in the heart of Africa is only the second country worldwide to recognize Bitcoin as a currency. Today we discuss why cryptocurrencies have grown by 1,200%. Yes, 1,200% in Africa and why you should be getting in on the action. Central African Republic recognizes Bitcoin as a currency. That is the topic. According to an article by Forbes, Af Forbes Africa, the Central African Republic, CAR, recently adopted Bitcoin as legal tender. Albert Namcio, chief of staff to the CAR president, said they hope that this, will move, this move will open up new opportunities for the country. The decision to legalize Bitcoin follows in the footsteps of El Salvador last year, whom legalized Bitcoin in September 2021. Thus far, these are the only two countries in the world whom recognize Bitcoin as a currency. Whilst the CAR gained its independence in the 1960s, it's been suffering economically due to an ongoing civil war since 2012. The country that is rich in natural resources currently ranks amongst the worst in, world, in the world in terms of GDP. Why? Africa loves cryptocurrencies. The CAR has a population of 5.4 million and is one of the poorest countries in the world. Even though it is rich in natural resources like gold and diamonds, this poses the question, why does Africa love cryptocurrencies? Like many other African countries, it is poor, but it is extremely rich in natural resources. For the people of CAR, Bitcoin adoption could equal a move away from the French interests within the country like the French-backed West African franc. For most people who live in developing countries, there are little protection in terms of human rights, whilst e inequality in economic and political freedoms are rife. On top of that, most of these countries have been exper experiencing years of hyperinflation. Local currencies are constantly devalued due to poor fiscal and monetary governance. Cryptocurrencies give these people a means to protect their savings and send and receive remittances. For the first time in history, those who are not living in countries with a stable economy can have an alternative economic and monetary perspective. According to a New York-based research firm, Chainalysis, cryptocurrency adoption has seen an increase of 1,200% in Africa from July 2020 to June 2021. The African crypto market value is estimated to be worth more than 105 billion US dollars. Elsewhere in Africa, Nigeria has already launched its own digital currency, the Inera, and South African regulators are in talks about implementing blockchain technologies. Altcoin Trader and a crypto exchange for Africa. South African-based Altcoin Trader has been a market leader since its inception in 2015. The exchange aims to provide South African traders with a simple and easy-to-use platform that is ideal for both beginners and seasoned traders. Besides boasting a, a wide variety of cryptocurrencies, investors can also trade gold and silver on the exchange. This is actual gold and silver as I have discussed before. It is not a cryptocurrency. It is gold, coins, silver, coins, gold, bricks, silver bricks. There is no doubt that cryptos are the future for Africa since it provides a reliable new borderless alternative, with value storage being decentralized. It is only a matter of time before more countries will recognize cryptocurrencies as legal tender and reap the benefits. So that is the article from Altcoin Trader about the Central African Republic accepting Bitcoin as a currency. Let's talk a little bit more about this. It is a huge step for Africa. Second country worldwide is in the African continent and it is Central African Republic. They have adopted Bitcoin as legal tender. This could lead to mass adoption around Africa. We did not know, we will have to see what the future holds, but more and more countries, yes, only two at the moment, but that's two in the space of a year. More and more countries being open to cryptocurrency, 
accepting cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin as legal tender, is great news for cryptocurrency investors. We will have to see what the long run does if more and more countries adopt, because especially in Africa, it is nice to have your funds secure and away from other people, because we never know when, for instance, the South African Rand will tank or the US dollar will increase its strength and we are paying more and more. Also, with inflation, it helps to have a cryptocurrency because that can help you in the long run because if your inflation goes up sometimes your cryptocurrency might be going up at the same time so it's always a good thing to have cryptocurrency and be able to pay with cryptocurrency imagine walking into pick and pay tomorrow and instead of having to pull out your debit card you just transfer some bitcoin and transaction done so great outlook for many countries great for central african republic to have taken this step and been the first in africa to do this congratulations to them guys that is all for the video today thank you very much for watching we will see you in the next one